Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. Now, new thing is added, okay? Any API groups. I'm talking about new features which are also capability or strength of the Anyone platform, okay? Sure. Which are newly added, but they became a strength of the Anyone platform. That's why I'm discussing over here. Now, as an architect, we should know this, all these things, okay? When you're facing client, if you know this kind of stuff, right, you'll, you'll uh, form your solution better way, right? Am I correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's say, uh, hope you're aware of, right, there is a, there is an API instances will be generated inside the API manager, and then we apply the policies on top of it, okay? So now, let's say you have a business. Let's say you have a business where you are generating a beta report, okay? Or you are exposed to APIs, multiple APIs for generating better uh, data. So you have a company. Now, customers are coming to your platform and they are looking for the APIs. So you have, let's say, 20, 30 APIs. Now, customers, they are looking for which is the appropriate API for my requirement. Okay, so they will be struggling to look which is the actual API or which are actually connected APIs. In exchange, you will be having all the APIs, right? So these guys need to know what are the connected APIs or I can form a group out of it so that I, I can, you know, uh, use those APIs in better way. So these guys need to struggle, customer or consumer, whoever has a requirement, they need to struggle over here. I mean, the discoverability part, which the AnyPoint platform is saying that our API should be discoverable. But yes, those are discoverable, but who will tell them, okay, these APIs, this set of APIs are actually doing same kind of business. Who will tell that? That kind of functionality was not there before API group. Now, what I can do, let me go to the requirement. Okay, I'll show you the requirement. This is the use case, first use case. So why use case I generally explain to you know any concept. So you get a you know you can relate that concept in better way. So let's say we have Uber Eats or Zomato. Okay, and these guys are actually having APIs. They have exposed APIs, user API, restaurant location API, payment APIs, transaction API, and now there are clients who want to build the some solution by using this API. Mm -hmm. So they are looking for who all are APIs which are which are user centric. Okay, so they don't know which are user centric, which are financial APIs from here. Yeah, there are some by naming you can look for, you know, okay, payment and transaction API goes to the financial. But right now we have only five APIs over here. What if we have 25, 30 APIs? Then it's a problem, right? But we will, we will figure out, but it will take time, right? Now what if, if I explicitly tell, okay, user API and rewards API, this goes for users. Payment APIs and transaction APIs, these are financial specific APIs. If I already create a group, and if I already, if I publish those groups to the exchange, for consumer, it's very easy. Like yeah. if there are people in centric APIs, you just need to look for that group. That's it. Second, a second advantage is, if you have simply API without any group, you need to go and request for each and every API. Individually, right? In case of API group, you just need to request for that group. That's it. One request enough. If your SLA enabled on those APIs, those SLAs will be applicable to all the APIs. Only one request enough for the API groups. You can create multiple instances of your API group. That is also possible. And go to the second uh, use case and you will try to understand. You will be able to map it you know, in better way. So this requirement is clear. I mean, if you have APIs, you can club them logically and then publish that API group to the exchange and people can request for that group. Yeah. Better way, right? Yeah. So discoverability for part we are solving here. Now second requirement is, for example, this requirement I have. I was talking about good weather, right? So this is actually a company which has this many APIs. Now, I wanted to monetize this APIs and I wanted to, I want to tell that, okay, for free, 
only location and forecast APIs available. For base subscriptions, these five APIs are available. For enterprise license, these all APIs are available. Mm -hmm. For trial version, you can call these two APIs only five requests per minute, not more than that. Mm -hmm. On base, you can call 100 requests on these five APIs. On enterprise um, license, you can call unlimited. There is no limit on this. So you'll be charging, you know, you, you have separate set of clients now, free clients, base subscription clients and enterprise clients. Okay. Now, these things you can achieve via simply creating the groups. You can create trial group, you will add two APIs over there, two API instances over there, and you will enable trial SLA over there. That SLA talks about five requests per minute. That's it. So whoever wants to use this really, they will go only request for trial group. Okay. Base subscriptions, you will you will you will go create a base subscription, add this many instances to that group. And here you will be in enabling a SLA saying that 100 requests per minute you can access on or trigger on or send on any of these five APIs. That SLA will take care of that requirement. Enterprise, you will create a SLA, okay, where you will send that maybe 10,000 requests, okay. That is not possible in, 10, in one minute, right? People cannot send 10,000 requests. So that is unlimited kind of thing. Generally, we say unlimited, but there will be hidden restrictions. They will be a big number, right? So this API group will help you to solve this problem, right? So it's it's again a very good feature. If you are aware of this feature, then as architect, you will do a better for this, right? Agree with me? Same page? Yes, I'm on the same page, yeah. Okay, you are able to relate it, right? Okay. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.